hello got a fun little thing for Easter this time um, it's very cute and, and very simple but I think it's going to add a lot to your Easter decor um, and it doesn't need an awful lot of product either as you can see from the table here I've just got five inch um, and 160 balloons uh, in this particular case this is Sempertex 5 inch fashion peach blush and 160 fashion peach blush and this is the fashion orange and fashion lime green and I'm going to make a couple of little elements first so initially we'll take one of the 5 inch peach inflate it you know, roughly full size and tie it off maybe make it a little softer there we go Tie it off like that and I'm going to remove the neck roll put that to one side take the other five inch inflate it nice and tight and let it down in fact I'm going to do it twice because I want it well stretched and quite soft and I'm going to let that down to around four inches something like that we don't need to size accurately and then I'm going to tie that very close to the neck roll itself like that so we have a long neck and once again I'm going to remove the neck roll there take your 160 and whoops should have got a, a 160 pump but don't worry I can I could do this there we go take 160 and inflate it a little and pinch it back slightly to make it easier to tie and then we're going to make make two make a loop double loop like that twist again and twist it into the center there and then remove the piece you don't need okay I'm going to tie this around here right up close to the knot so we've got a a nice piece stretchy piece on on the round balloon and also on here then squeeze the air right up into the neck right so put your finger on the knots push through grab it there twist a couple of times to trap the knot and then use the remaining part of the 160 to tie it off like so and then we can squeeze the balloon to get it into shape like so and then this here will tie around here Now there was one thing that I did need but I forgot to bring so I needed some adhesive but basically what we've got is a little little bunny rabbit here and the last part of it is the tail which I would need to glue onto the balloon but don't worry we can I'll show you an example in a minute and you can imagine but I'm just going to inflate the remaining part of the 160 right to the very end so it's nice and tight twist off that little bubble
tie. Give it a bit of a squish to make it round and then that will glue onto there like that. Except I forgot the glue, but never mind. Right, so there's our little bunny rabbit. Next part of it is to make the carrot to go with the rabbit. So inflate your orange balloon. You'll need um, a, a raisin, a little bobble, actually I think I'll probably just use this piece of 160, that'll be easier. Um, a little bobble to put inside the balloon because we're going to need an attachment point on the round end. So that goes in there. Yep. Inflate that again. Not too big because we want to be able to squish it a little bit and tie it off. And then grab the little raisin, hmm? easier said than done, there it is, through the balloon. And I'm going to tie that with a piece of the 160 as well. So that's given us an attachment point there. Make sure this knot is really tight and very small. Put your fingers between the neck roll and the knot and push it so that you've got a very tiny knot there. And then cut it as close to the knot as you can and give the balloon a little bit of a squish to give that shape. Green, lime green 160 to make the leaves on the top. And we'll just make three little loops. That one, two, three. Wrap around a few times to secure. And then use the bit of 160 there to attach it to the top of the carrot. So then we have a little bunny rabbit and a carrot. Repeat that several times in different colours, different pastel colours. And then you can take a piece of ribbon, just wrap it around the leaves in that case and around the ears in that case and if you add them all together and what you end up with is a string of rabbits and carrots or a length of bunny ting sorry but happy easter make sure you visit the amscan decorator hub um, on amscan.co.uk for more ideas and tag us in every post. Thank you.